हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग इंडिविजुअल डिमांड पार्ट टू सेकेंड फैक्टर इज प्राइसेस ऑफ अदर गुड्स और वी कैन से प्राइसेस ऑफ रिलेटेड गुड्स डिमांड फॉर गुड एक्स इज इन्फ्लुएंस्ड बाय द प्राइसेस ऑफ अदर गुड लेट्स एज्यूम अदर गुड एज गुड सेट इट इज कॉल्ड क्रॉस प्राइस डिमांड we can write demand for good x is a function of price of good z satis paribus when we are saying that demand for good x is a function of price of good z it means that demand for good x depends or is affected by the price of other good which is good z satis paribus means that other factors affecting demand are assumed as constant case 1 when x and z are substitutes substitute goods are those which are an alternative to one another in consumption they satisfy same human want with equalies examples are tea or coffee ink pen or ball pen pepsi or coca cola etc we are taking an example of tea and coffee if price of tea increases it will lead to increase in demand for coffee because when price of tea increases it will make tea costlier as compared to coffee and in this situation people will switch from tea to coffee and that is a reason demand for coffee will be increased let's understand this thing with the help of a diagram here you can see that on the vertical axis we have taken price of coffee and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of coffee this is the initial price of coffee which is op initial quantity demanded which is oc units of coffee and this is the initial demand curve d this is the demand curve for coffee okay now suppose that price of tea increases it will lead to increase in demand for coffee but my question is is there any change in price of coffee no there is no change in price of coffee it will remain same at op okay and at the same price of coffee demand for coffee will be increased as you can see in this way okay there is no change in price of coffee it will remain same at op but demand for coffee has been increased from oc units to oc1 units why demand for coffee is increased it is increased due to the increase in price of tea and this will lead to rightward shift in demand curve for coffee as you can see in this way so this is a rightward shift in demand curve an increase in the price of a substitute good increases the quantity demanded of the other good which means as we have just seen that when price of tea increases demand for coffee is increased so increase in the price of substitute good increases the quantity demanded of the other good if there is an increase in the price of a substitute good the demand curve shifts rightward this thing we have also seen in our diagram that demand curve for coffee shifts rightward due to the increase in price of tea thus demand for a good usually moves in the same direction to a change in price of its substitutes it means that when price of tea increases demand for coffee will be increased and when price of tea decreases demand for coffee will be decreased so basically demand for a good usually moves in the same direction 
to a change in price of its substitutes. Clear? Thank you.